So today we're gonna to talk about camera bags, and I never thought that camera bags could be sexy, but this all changed when I saw this bag. So this is the main camera bag that we use. I mean, look at this thing. It's full leather, it just looks so good. You know like when you get the new pairs of shoes and you just feel like you can run faster? That's what this does. I mean, it doesn't make you run faster, but when you wear it, you just feel like the most amazing person. Like literally, I think it just makes your shots better. Don't take my word for it. I don't think the company would back that up, but this camera bag is super cool. And you know, like, camera bag doesn't make or break your films, but in my opinion, you, the perception of how you dress and which camera bag you use really communicates your brand to the other people at the wedding that you're shooting. So if you're dressing like a slob or you're dressing, say, you, you know, you want to dress and you want to have a camera bag that resonates with your ideal clientele. So for us, we really, we want to reach people who are, you know, very into authentic things. They're very, you know, they love kind of dressing more hipster. Maybe they shop at J. Crew or Anthropology or American Eagle. Like those are kind of the type of people that we will really want to reach. And so we kind of think about how would those people dress? What kind of things would resonate with them? And kind of the style of this camera bag would really resonate with that audience. So that's why we chose this bag. And so first off, it looks absolutely incredible. And it's called the Ona camera bag. It's by Ona, it's the Bowery, I believe. And there's a couple versions of this bag. This is the full leather version, which, I mean, it's, it's real leather. It's, it's so well made, like you just touch it and it just oozes quality. They have a couple other bags that are not full leather that are a little cheaper, but I'm like, this bag, if you get this bag, it's gonna be with you forever. Like you're gonna hand this down to your kids. It's, it's incredible. And so one of the things I love about this bag is one, it's gorgeous, it's leather. And this little clasp is really, really cool. It's, it's just a push clasp. And so when you press it, it actually comes out really, really easily. And it's really easy to access all your gear that's inside. And this is the inside of it. It's a little bit smaller than Let's see if I can show you without dropping everything inside. It's a little bit tinier than your average camera bag, but I actually like smaller bags. And a lot of people are like, oh, that bag's too tiny. Like, you're a filmmaker, you need like a huge thing. Whereas for me, I love limiting the size of my bags because what I find is the less gear that I bring to the wedding, the more I can focus on story and actually the more creative I am. And if I had a bigger bag, I would bring more to a wedding, which would stress me out and actually bring more of stuff that I don't need. Whereas if I literally have a small camera bag, I cannot bring more than I can fit in this camera bag. And it's kind of this weird psychological trick to make you more creative and actually make you a better filmmaker because it, causes you to not rely on the gear and more on your mind and the story. So you can fit, like right in here, you can't really fit any cameras in here unless you have like a Sony A7S or a small camera. I mainly use this bag for a lens bag. And so I can fit three full size like so I can fit like three full-size Canon L glass. This is not an L glass lens, but normally we fit L glass lenses in here. I can fit three full-size lenses inside this bag and that is all I need. Normally for a wedding, I only shoot with two lenses. So even this is, is a lot. And then I can also, it also has these two front pouches right here. They're not that flexible, so that's the only bummer. You can't like stuff them with stuff, but again, I kind of like that because I bring less. And so in these front pouches, what I'll put are like, um, like little audio recorders, I'll put gaff tape, or I'll put like lens tissues, or just little things. And they don't, it's, it's really cool because this flap goes above, so you're not gonna lose anything in here. I, I was kind of freaked out at first that, oh, they don't have zippers, like is my stuff gonna fall out? But it's not when this flap, this flap is really heavy and if you just make sure to lock it, which is really easy, you're not gonna lose anything. And then um, what I also did, what's kind of unique, because this bag only comes with one center divider, and so you're gonna wanna buy more center dividers. Ona actually sells more, they're like $10 for a pack of three. And so what I did is I put, I don't know if you can see here, I put two so that it makes three dividers. And then what I also did is I put one divider kind of on the back. Here, let me just take this out. 
I put one divider on the back right here. So I almost made like another inside pocket. So right here I can put, you know, audio recorders or anything really. And so we have like three spots for lenses and this little kind of makeshift pocket inside. That's, that's really, really awesome. And then it also has a spot in the back where you could put, you know, anything really. I think it's made for like an iPad mini. You could put a Kindle in here, which is really, really great or anything else that you want to put. And then it also has two side pockets right here and right here. Now these pockets are extremely tight. I think they made them so tight so that if you put anything in here, it's not gonna fall out, which if you think about it is, is really, really nice. And so I would put like batteries in here. I don't know if I'd put memory cards because I wouldn't want them falling out, but you can put like, you know, bars to eat on the wedding day or memory or not memory cards or batteries or things like that. So this bag, I mean, this bag, let me just, so nice. It's so good. The strap is also completely leather. The clips are brass. It's really great to travel with because it doesn't look like a camera bag. You'll never get stopped. Um, people won't think that, oh my gosh, that guy's trying to lug all this camera gear in here. It's really great. It's not too big. It's, it's really just the perfect size. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to it below so that you guys can get this bag. One of my favorite bags. But if you're on a budget, you know, this, cause it's, it's a pretty expensive bag. So probably my other favorite bag on top of that, this is the camera bag that we use for eight years shooting weddings. Now this is the cheapest of the cheap bags in terms of price, but the quality is awesome. I think this bag's like $30 or something. It's called the Low Pro Exchange Messenger Bag. Now this is just a basic bag. It's as you can see, it's black. A couple things I love about it. Super cheap. Look at this. You can fold it up and make it so tiny. It weighs nothing. So on the wedding day, it's not, you know, pulling down on you. You can put it in your suitcase if you're traveling. Love that. And it has three slots. It's kind of a mess right now. But inside it has three slots for lenses. So basically we'd use it as our kind of go-to lens bag to swap out lenses. And what's really great is because it's this flexible fabric material, you can really stuff this thing with as many things as you could possibly think of. And it has, you know, two big pockets. <laughs> you can get a hold of it. Two big pockets in the front, so you can put tons of stuff in there. It also has a zipper pocket. And so you can secure things like cards and batteries. And I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. So if you're just starting out weddings and you don't want to invest in kind of any of the Ona bags, this one is, an, is, is a solid, solid bag. And like I said, we use this for almost eight years of shooting weddings. And really the main reason we're changing to the Ona is not necessarily for functionality, but it's more for the look. And we just really, you know, we're charging a certain amount for weddings and we want to make sure that the clothes that we wear in the bag that we use and kind of the whole look of our team at the wedding matches our brand. And that's kind of the main reason we went for the Ona bag. And what I'll also do is there's some, there's, there's a bunch of other bags. You know, we've done a lot of research on the best camera bag. I'll put some links of some other ones that I think are great alternatives to something like the Ona, maybe something in between, but kind of at two ends of the spectrum, these are these are our favorites. So that's that's everything for, for camera bags. I hope that was really, really helpful for you guys. I'll put the links below in the description for where you can get them. And then if you guys end up getting them, use the links below because it really helps us. It gives us a little kickback from Amazon or from any of the other uh, people that we put the links in below. And it really helps us make more videos like this. And if this video is really helpful for you, please like this video, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And you guys have a great rest of the day.